should be a good, good time as usual. We are here with episode two of our Dallas Cowboys rebuild. How about them Cowboys? I've got some peppermint to go balls gum I'll be working on today while we play. Okay. So year one, we just barely missed the playoffs. We started out, I think, five and one. Then we lost four straight, and it was just downhill from there. You can see our defensive rankings in the bottom there were not that great. Our offense was pretty solid, and I feel good about our, our offense. But um, now we're heading into the offseason. We've got to re-sign our players from year one. Um, we got to do the draft as well and free agency, all that good stuff to address some needs, especially on the defensive side of the ball. So a lot of work to do today. Let's see who is retiring. But 
Saffold is, he's getting worse and he's also kind of old. Got my cover in there though. Okay. And yeah, this is where we need to address a lot of holes. Um, you can see our safeties are pretty solid. 88, Eddie Jackson. Adrian Amos, 90 overall. Uh, we got Bryce Callahan and Casey Hayward Jr. But our secondary was so bad last year, I wonder if we just need better outside linebackers. We can deal with Hightower for another year. Yeah, so let's focus on outside linebackers. Um, a solid right end. And then, if we've got any sort of cap space, a defensive tackle, we'll do that. You shick, what's up, dude? You, you want to come back? You want to come back? He'll come back. He'll come back. Let's see if we've got any um, outside linebackers. Not worth it. Jason Pierre Paul. No, I can't do it. Nah, just not worth it. Eight million over three years. Actually, that it's not an upgrade, though. That's the thing. Like we've got high tower, and I feel like if we just draft these linebackers and develop them, I feel like that's a better move. And then next season we can replace high tower. But I think high tower's got another solid year two in him. Um, left guard. Nope. So yeah, really, really no feasible free agents here. Um, so we may just skip over this and go right to the draft. Steal of a draft pick at 
So this guy's a big corner at six foot two. Um, you know, his his uh, combine stats there were pretty pretty bad. This guy's is much better, a little bit smaller. But honestly, corners don't need to be huge. He's a little bit younger as well. This guy's broad jump is insane. 10 feet 3 inches for a left guard. This guy's 323 pounds. Pretty solid. I'll draft him. Might as well give him a shot. Honestly, at this point, I'm just going to try and trade away picks. Pick up later, later picks. Um, yeah, I mean, if we can move up in next year's draft, might as well, round four, sure. He's 
like actually a legit left guard, I think, right? Oh boy, Gardner is starting. That's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, it well it's because our our defensive line is just boiled hot dog water. Um let's go. Maybe there's free agents out there, I doubt it. Second. 
makes it impossible, but this, you know, you gotta, you gotta be prepared for, you know, a handful of players like your quarterback or running back, Nick Chubb, to uh, account for a lot of the cap, but you can see we've got 94 million available salary cap. We lost. We 
lost. We lost by three points. No way. Like it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.